2023 is here and I'm calling it now that this will be the year for Cozy Games. Welcome or welcome back if you're new here. My name is Cassie and I am a content creator who loves all things cozy. With more and more games being released each year with a focus on them being relaxing, comfy and generally stress-free, we're truly seeing a space being developed for us cozy gamers to enjoy cozy games. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at 10 cozy games that are releasing this year in 2023 to keep on your radar. Now, please do keep in mind that with any game development, there may be delays, so we may not be seeing all these games in 2023 2023, but we can be hopeful and keep our fingers crossed. So without further ado, the first cozy game releasing in 2023 is Minikor's Night Market. Minikor's Night Market looks like such a cute game where you play as a girl called Minikor, who has arrived at her new home on a Japanese-inspired island at the base of Mount Fugu. When you arrive at the island, you find out that the island's locals worship a sun cat called Abe, who was thought to be a long-told myth, but there have recently been sightings of Abe himself among the residents. In this game, you must discover the secrets of the town and restore the struggling village to its former glory. Playing as Mineko, you must manage your daily activities, complete various jobs, and venture out on quests as well as craft items in preparation for the weekly night market. This game is so cute as it features many cats in many aspects of the game, such as participating in cat racing mini games, patting all of the cats whilst evading nosy agents. There are hours of exploration as well as four different seasons to experience across the vast island of Mount Fugu. As somebody who absolutely loves cats and Japanese culture, this game seems right up my alley. Next up is Fay Farm. Fay Farm is a farming sim game coming exclusively to the Nintendo Switch. In Fay Farm, you escape to the fairy tale life of your dreams, where, like all great farming sims, you get to craft, cultivate, and decorate your farmstead. But in this game, there is a magical side to things, where you discover Fay magic, which allows you to nurture an enchanted farm and infuse magic into everything you do. Fay Farm allows you to play with up to four other players in either local or online multiplayer. So together, you can use spells to tend to your crops, craft items, and explore the enchanted island of Azoria. What I love about this game is it's not just any other farming sim, as there's this magical element you can traverse dungeons and battle enemies with magic as well. There are townsfolk that you can befriend and you can complete quests for them as well. We all also love character customization and this game allows you to do just that. I'm really excited for this game as it's a Switch exclusive, which is unfortunate if you do not own a Switch, but for those of us who do, we often see a lot of performance issues issues in games that originally come out on other platforms and then are ported over to the Switch. So it's nice knowing that when this game launches, we're not going to see any of those issues. Next is Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. Now in case you didn't know, this game is actually a remake of the original 2004 GameCube game Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. In this game, you play a young farmer who is about to live their best farming life in Forgotten Valley. As with any good farming sim, you can grow crops and raise animals on your farm, as well as go fishing, hunt for ancient treasures, and befriend the townsfolk. Now what makes this game special is that there is actually an aging mechanic with an overarching story that progresses over 30 years. Your farmer can find a long life partner and get married, as well as have a child and eventually grow old. Your child will then eventually choose a career path for themselves Will they inherit the farm or will they find a calling somewhere else? And what I love about the new remake of this game is that in the original you only had the option to play as a male character, but in this new version you can play as a male character but also a female or a non-binary character. And on top of that, you can also romance any of the marriage candidates regardless of the gender that you choose and I think this is just a really nice touch. The next game that I'm looking forward to is Mail Time. So this game is absolute cottagecore vibes. You play as a male scout wearing your cute mushroom hat and backpack full of letters who is tasked with delivering mail and packages to inhabitants across the woods known as Grumblewood Grove. You can run, jump and glide to deliver letters to all of the critters who each have their own little stories to tell. From the grumpy squirrels to the poetic frogs, each are charming in their own unique way. And as you help each resident, you gain male scout badges, which can be used to upgrade your gliding ability. There are eight different areas to explore, hidden trinkets to collect, as well as character customization options. This is the ultimate wholesome experience as there are no time pressures, no time limits, or any harm that can be done in the game. So I really look forward to this relaxing and wholesome game. The next anticipated game for 2023 is Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. Now, if you've played the first Coffee Talk, which I've featured in a previous video, then you will know all 
about what this second game will be like. But if not, Coffee Talk 2 has you revisit a late night coffee shop set in an alternate present day version of Seattle. You are the barista who listens to the stories of the customers who visit the coffee shop while also making their requested drinks. There are humans who visit, but there are also orcs, elves, and other races. And through their stories, you learn and understand this world one cup at a time. When making the drinks, you use different ingredients like coffee, ginger, mint, and chocolate, experimenting to uncover new recipes and you can also show off your skills with the ability to draw latte art. This is the ultimate cozy vibes game as there's lo-fi music and rain ambience in the background and overall just makes for a super cozy chill experience. Next up is Botany Manor. One could describe Botany Manor as a walking simulator game, and if you're not familiar with the term, they're usually an exploration game discovering through observations rather than through action. So Botany Manor is a game set in this 19th century historical English manor in the countryside. You play as a retired botanist, Arabella Green, who must explore the rooms and gardens of the manor to solve puzzles in the form of growing plants. You must gather information about each plant's ideal habitat by finding clues across the manor, like posters, paintings, and letters. This game looks so peaceful and relaxing, and as somebody who loves plants, I think that this game will be perfect for a cozy night in. Now, if Miyazaki ever made a game, this next one would be it. Europa is a visually stunning game set on a moon called Europa. Unlike the moon that we know of, this one exists in Jupiter's shadow, and it's a lush terraformed paradise for you to explore. You play as an android known as Z, who runs, glides, and flies across the breathtaking world of lakes, meadows, and mountains in search of answers. This game allows you to have free-flowing movement throughout the landscape, which will feel so freeing. There are also secrets to unlock, puzzles to solve, and an overarching story to discover around the last human alive. To me, this game has similar vibes to Journey or Sky Children of the Light, and it reminds me so much of a Studio Ghibli film, so I very much look forward to this one. Next is Tiny Glade. So Tiny Glade is a relaxing and satisfying building game where the premise of this game is to build castles. You will not find any management elements, combat, or any wrong answers. It's literally just simple building. This looks like the perfect game to unwind with, just building up castles whichever way you like. And I love how the game seamlessly assembles each brick, pebble, and plank. And if you don't like it, you can change your mind at any time. And between the art style, sound design, and the game mechanics, this game looks like it'll come together quite nicely for an ultimate chill vibes game. The next game that I am looking forward to this year is Spirit Tea. At first glance, this game gives Stardew Valley meets Spirited Away. Spirit Tea is both a life sim and management game in one, which appears to be set in a town in Japan which has become overrun with troublemaking spirits who are lost due to humans no longer worshipping or thinking about them. You are tasked with taking care of a bathhouse and helping out the spirits' problems. In the bathhouse, you will need to clean towels, chop wood to heat the baths. There are also local shops which sell furniture to help you fix up the bathhouse, and you can also make friends with the local townspeople. Like Stardew Valley, the townspeople and the spirits have their own schedules, likes and dislikes, and hobbies to partake in. I very much look forward to what this game has to offer when it hopefully releases this year. And finally, the last cozy game to keep on your radar for 2023 is Songs of Glimmerwick. This is a story-driven RPG where you play as a student enrolled at a magical university in the land of Glimmerwick. In this woodland fantasy world, you attend classes and join after-school clubs, whilst also making friends with the classmates. Your character carries a flute and songbook, and with these, playing music is a secret to casting spells. You can use the power of music to speak with the trees, enchant your tools, and it's ultimately the key to exploring every corner of this island. In this game, you also unfold narrative quests with a focus on the unique characters and story. You can also tend to the university garden, attend bustling festivals, and uncover mysterious rumors. As you gain experience in your adventures, you can upgrade your skills, which help you with your gardening, trading, or acquiring special abilities. And what I love about this game is all of the characters, no matter how major or minor they are, are fully voice acted. This will provide a very much enriching experience. This game looks stunning. I don't know what it is about the art style, but the moment I saw it, it really just drew me in. So I very much look forward to seeing when this game releases. 
Now I know we have already just covered 10 games, but I did want to add in a sneaky bonus as it's already technically released its early access version on the PC, but that's all we've seen so far. That game is Coral Island. Coral Island sees you living your best farming life. You can farm, decorate, craft and explore. Basically everything you'd expect from a great farming game and more. I'm very much looking forward to seeing this game fully released and I hope that it will release on the console too as it's received quite positive feedback so far. There's just something about this game that draws us in as cozy gamers. I think it's just the way that they've perfected the cozy farming sim genre. So I look forward to seeing it coming out of its early access and it becoming the beautiful full game that it deserves to be. And those are all the cozy games that I am excited for releasing hopefully in 2023. If you'd like to see some of my favorite cozy games that have already been released be sure to check out my videos that will be featured at the end of this video. What cozy games are you looking forward to this year? If I've missed any be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what they are but otherwise take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye!